Hello everyone and welcome to this YouTube. I'm your host, The Doc. Coming up is flasher action. A lot of guys use downriggers. They fish out there in that deep depth. This happens to be a hot spot, a green hot spot with a silver coating. The nice thing about these type of flashers, they come already with a ball bearing swivel. And you can see the rotation here that it would help to have good swivels. The lure is a spoon and we find that that works really good in all depths. Now, this is the same hot spot flasher, but this time we have a piece of bait in it, a cut plug, and it's in a herring helmet, a clear herring helmet, and this is the action that you're gonna get, and the leader length on this usually is between 42 and 52 inches works the best for us. And when we are out trolling many times, We've snagged our gear up <laughs> in an abandoned crab pot out there. And here's one now sitting in about 70 foot of bottom depth with that's how high the rope was anyway. Now we're looking at another hot spot. This is the old famous red one with silver coating. But this one also has glow in it and you can kind of pick it up as it rotates the glow on the reflection of the sun. And behind it is a spoon. And we prefer spoons many times when the fish are kind of looking for a lot of feed. Uh, there's a lot of herring in the water, and it's real hard at times to find herring. The spoon's a great alternative. A lot of guys will take and put just a little herring strip as a teaser for it. Now, in this particular shot is the Abenel Flasher number two. It's on a 42-inch liter behind a jiggler spoon and this has done really well for us in a lot of different areas of Puget Sound, the Straits of Juan de Fuca and fishing up out of Freshwater Bay. Oh, we've done well with this type of action. Spoons, it's amazing how well they really work. Leader that's hooked to the spoon, I believe is critical. You wanna match your leader color to the color in the water. Now in this particular shot, you see a spoon working fine, but what else do you see? The dark leader, black in color. And this is one of my, <laughs> I can't tell you, you know how you get out and you go fishing with somebody and you really wanna catch a fish for them? This is the spoon that I would put on <laughs> with a light, maybe a nine weight fly rod, 15 to 20 pound test, a main line, and I would use a 50 pound test on the leader because I don't want to lose the spoon. A lot of times big kings, they'll dental floss the spoon right off if it's a light leader 20 pound test or so. But this has worked well. Now I'm gonna give you a tip here. If you take a spoon and you take your Dremel and you sharpen the edge like a knife, then it cuts the water faster. That's why these flexible spoons out on the market today have such a thin edge and that gives them a lot faster action. The problem you run into with a spoon like that, it flexes as soon as you get a fish. So now you're trying to constantly adjust and bend it back to the right action to get another fish. Where with a heavier metal spoon, like what I'm holding here, now I've cut holes in it, it won't flex, you see? And I've cut these holes for these glow beads to fit into on a stainless wire. And this is one of my best spoons made because when I get you on the boat and I gotta get you a fish, <laughs> ah, if you can't catch fish on these spoons, you better change sports. <laughs> But sharpen those edges just like I'm doing here for you, all right? And you'll find good success in this type of action. Flasher, spoon, and I guess you can say, fish on, fish on, gotta go. Bye-bye, everyone. Be safe out on the water.